Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. It's a Tuesday late afternoon. Actually, it's probably close to 5 o'clock. 77 degrees today. Gypsy and I are outside. Uh, she's over there laying, chewing on a stick. I've been getting her outside every day for about an hour in the backyard to run around. So we're just enjoying this time outside. But I still wanted to do a vlog um, and talk about why it's important to stay stocked up on food and what happened to us when COVID hit as far as food, uh, food stock up. So we are the prime example of why you should stay stocked up on food. And if you can't afford to stock up on food, like you don't make enough money, then you need to look into getting food share or food stamps, whatever it's called in your area. And you need to go, go to food pantries if, you, if you're able to, if they're close enough. Um, but you need to do those things if that's what it takes to help you stock up on food. So don't mind my hair. It's blowing everywhere. It's kind of windy outside. I'm going to be in and out of this vlog because Gypsy will get tired of chewing her stick and then she'll want to play keep away with the ball. Yeah, it's not fetch. I don't throw it and she chases it. I do sometimes, but once she has it, she likes to keep it from me. She wants me to try to get it from her and then she runs with it. So <laughs> it's more like keep away. So yeah, we're, uh, I'm probably going to be in and out. She's looking to grab the ball, so I'll be right back. Okay, so, so when COVID hit, we were as unprepared as one can be. And back then, we were actually bringing in decent money. So, so that just shows you how one, us for instance, uh, can take a situation for granted. Like, nothing bad is going to happen, so we don't have to stock up on food. Well, we found out pretty quick that... Uh, we were totally unprepared for the situation at hand. Uh, we had no stock up on food. We were, we were just buying from week to week, honestly. And at that time, we didn't even have our chest freezer. We just had that little refrigerator with a small freezer on top. So that tells you right there, we couldn't have had many meats in there. So... Uh, yeah, we barely had like canned goods. We just shopped from week to week. That's how we were and Yeah, we we had the means to do it. We just didn't play it smart So when COVID hit of course Everybody was buying everything out and we had to drop $600 at one time to go buy some food and household items like toilet paper and paper towels and things like that, soap, uh, you know, everything. So by the time I had gotten to the stores, as you all know, everybody was buying everything out. Shelves were empty. You remember all those pictures being posted of empty shelves at Walmart and such. So that's what I faced. Um, I got what I could and for $600 it didn't look like much so um, thank God we made it through uh, we didn't even start going to pantries right away and we didn't even get food share right away uh, we've only had food share for probably a year or so maybe a year and a half so yeah uh, prime example we are of what not to do right now that when you should be doing it is stocking up this is the leash I'm holding but yeah so that's why a couple of videos back I said I decided to keep going to the pantries because I keep thinking about that situation and I don't want us to be in that situation again so I'm going to keep going and I don't care if we have to make our second room it's more like a den size but I told Glenn I don't care if I have to clear everything out put some shelves in there and stock food in there I don't care but we're gonna be stocked up we're not gonna we're not gonna be caught like we were then um, there are some household items that I really would like us to be more stocked up on um, 
but again that takes uh, money and we get as we can so so yeah that's why it's important to stay stocked up because if you're not and something happens you'll be caught you'll be caught in a situation where you won't have enough to go on for a couple months at a time and uh the situation you know like when COVID hit that's all that was being talked about and it was on the news constantly it was just your everyday news all day long and then after a while it it died down it's kind of like when there's an attack a terrorist attack and it's talked about it all the time at first, but then it lingers off and it's you don't hear about it anymore. And then people start to get a little laxed. Well, that's how, that's how it seems now, you know, like COVID, people are still getting COVID, but it's, you know, it's not talked about as much. And not just COVID, anything, anything can happen in this world. Absolutely anything. You just get too relaxed and you take for granted that you have enough and you'll, you'll survive. But will you, you know, what if, you know, something major happens? It just, you know, I think you guys know what I'm saying, but I just wanted to let you know what happened to us when COVID hit is totally unprepared and I don't ever want us to be in that situation again. So I just wanted to talk about that. And for those out there, like I said, if you don't have enough to buy groceries, then look into getting food stamps, food share, whatever it's called in your area, go to pantries, keep going and stock yourselves up that way that's the best way you can do it so yeah i just wanted to let you know um being just total transparent about it that we were unprepared and i don't forget that i don't forget that at one bit so that's my that's my rant for now i guess so i'll be outside tomorrow it's supposed to be 81 degrees so I'll be outside doing some chores projects on my list and uh, I'll be recording them so you can see what I get done all right so I just wanted to have that little talk maybe make some of you think about it that don't believe in preparing or kind of got a little relaxed Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video, but remember down in the description below is foodpantries.org, a link to that website to find a food pantry nearest you. So if you're not going to food pantries, um, go to that website and find one near you if you don't already know where it is. So, all right, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the time out here with Gypsy. I'll be back tomorrow and... Thank you all for taking this time out of your day to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. And it looks like the weather's getting nice. Except we are going to head back into the 40s by the end of the week. Um, but it's just getting closer to springtime, that's all. So I hope you all have a good night. And remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.